time set night. All right, now this time you get in bed. Okay. Let's see if. Oops. All right. Did I kick you out of bed? You did. Kick you in bed again. Yep. So what you can do is you can hit T. Mm-hmm. And bring up the chat log. Yeah. And then move your cursor over that person, and it says click to kick. And basically it hits you with a snowball, which doesn't hurt you, but it knocks you out of bed. Ah, uh, click to kick. So that way, yeah, say. that way if, you know, if you're on like a huge server with a lot of people and you actually needed it to be nighttime, then you would just kick them out of bed. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, like if you were out just, you know, if they're building and they're just wanting to sure. make it go away and you're farming, whatever, yeah. Uh-huh. So. Cool. Yeah. So that works too. All right. Hop in bed again. All right. Now I just need to figure out how to, uh, like I said, fix the difficulty part of it. Mm hmm. Yeah. It actually hey, has to, yeah, like, go. It's flying through the sky. Yeah. It says it advances at so many ticks or whatever. Yeah. And yeah. See, it said day one. Now it says day zero again. So I'm going to have to look at that again and see how to fix that. Okay. Okay, but that fixes that. Yeah. Very cool. Not bad. Very cool. Yeah, and it didn't seem to get laggy all or command anything. Blocks, and you say they're all over there in the spawn chunk? Yeah. Okay. Because they would have to stay looted in. Yeah, we can go over there and take a look at it. I don't even know where the command is, uh, the spawn place is from here. We've got some torches. Yeah, the only reason we know that is because Mine Fiend was helping me. I remember the bridge. And then it's like off to the left there, maybe? It's up the hill, like straight ahead and then up to the right. We started with a uh, shovel mm -hmm. and making the path kind of so you could see it. And then mm. uh, it started getting nighttime for us, so we had to stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, yeah, I was going to build a church. I'm still probably going to and build some gravestones and stuff and actually go back in the logs and start putting in all of our deaths on tombstones and stuff. Sure. So he helped me start mapping out the uh, spawn chunks. But apparently there's multiple spawn chunks because, like, we de de put all of our stuff in a chest. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. like, this barrier is on the outside of the spawn chunk. And then one time, the first time I spawned in here... Uh -huh. Then the next time I spawned over here in the roses. And the next time I spawned over here. <laughs> so uh -huh. there's uh, apparently a, several of these are spawn chunks. Mm -hmm. Like apparently there's several chunks up here that are all quote unquote spawn chunks. So, so yeah, these are the command blocks. So I may just build a some sort of building over them or just make a dirt hill and kind of cover them up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do something to protect them. Yeah, like you, I can't even right click on them at the moment because I'm not in creative mode. I like the little, the little flashing lights on them. Yeah. Very Star Trekky. Very cool. Yeah. And uh, I may go in and add one more set of command blocks where if you hit Tab, instead of just seeing the the signal connection, it'll show us. I, I can either do um, health of each person. So you could just see the hearts of mm -hmm. each person. I thought that might be handy. So if we're split off all in different directions, you know, it's kind of kind of a nice thing to just say, hey, watch your health or whatever, you know. Or a fun um, thing to go, hey, you're about to die. Hi. Exactly. Oh, watch him. He's going to die. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, total experience, um, current uh, experience level, or number of death, like a death counter. Mm -hmm. I thought death counter could be kind of fun too, but uh, – yeah, so I uh, hadn't really decided that yet. I figured yeah. I'd get everybody's opinion, but I, I figured, it, yeah, I like that one, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's the uh, illustrious whatever cool. command block size. I said I need to go in and I watched a video, and it's from the Hermitcraft server. Yeah. And uh, that's where apparently they developed it on that on that server. And uh, 
he says, and while he's doing the video, Exuma or somebody, he says, and he says, yeah, and this code is to not to change your, so that your, your difficulty rating doesn't change. Doesn't and change. I copied everything over, but I must have not done something just right. Mm -hmm. I'll have to go back in. And he says, you have to be very careful. Capitals are, are lowercase, uppercase counts. And, you know. Yeah. My next curi curiosity would be, is if both of us slept, would it reset the day? If, it, if we just did a normal sleeping. Mm hmm Because then it wouldn't probably go through those command blocks. It would just count us as a normal sleep cycle, I guess. Just about, you know, as soon as it started raining, there'd be about 10 that would spawn within a certain vicinity of you. Yeah, well, we saw that. You know, the, the video where we had the skeleton horses, where we had three different groups spawn. That's you know? right. Yeah, they were very close. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. they've kind of nerfed that a little bit, too. Cause yeah. A little high. Yeah, and I can see that happening. It's uh, the, the nerfing, I mean, because they do that every time. Every time they add something to the game. Yeah. It's like, you know, think of zo zones. Every time they add a zone to the game, it's like you turn around and, you know, you're every five feet you're walking into that new zone, you know. The whole mending thing is just incredible, you know. The I've been fishing and fishing and fishing, and the rod hasn't got a dot on it, you know? It's like, wow. I know. It's just amazing. Yeah, again, that's one of those things that's like, you know, if you could actually get it, you know, you know, some of these servers that, again, when, uh, again, previous versions, I guess, before they nerfed the, uh, well, not nerfed, but fix the exploit of the AFK phishing, you know. Mm -hmm. There were servers, you know, where they have shops set up where they're nothing but books. And it's funny, they just start tossing out. It's like, oh, yeah, and I've got an automatic sorting thing set up. And and so all the books go in this, or uh, all the bows go here, all this goes here, and all the rest of the junk goes here. And they're just, like, looking over everything. And mm -hmm. they're like, all I'm looking for is mending books. And then they would just, like, hit hit a button or whatever and it would basically flush the entire system and I'm like you're flushing like bows like infinity bows and mending bows and, mm -hmm. and fishing poles because all you're looking for is mending books and they just had it all just kind of like kind of like Mind Fiend's you know hive at one point he had mm -hmm. it all set up mm -hmm. where you know you could go down there and start looking through all the junk and the hoppers and then yeah if, you know there's nothing really worth it he would just every now and then have to have to flush it yeah. to flush it yeah it was just crazy like that. I'm like, really? Yeah. But that's just it. That's all that they wanted in their yeah. in their little store. And was... that's the the issue I've had with all the you know. It's why I I don't get into all the automation. I mean, more power to everybody that does, and they enjoy it and building that kind of stuff. And the mm -hmm. hive was incredible. The whole hopper setup and everything that was in the hive oh. and everything else was just an incredible system. Oh yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. You know, just amazing. But it's it's not the kind of thing that I build. You know, mm -hmm. my my whole whole thing with uh, with playing, you know, Minecraft is is very much I I come on I come across the, the the lines of you know I loved the the whole Terra Firma Craft mod for that reason. Mm -hmm. you know, that everything was hard. You worked for it. You you yeah. wanted arrows. Well, you made them. You know, <laughs> it's yeah. You wanted iron armor? Well, it was it was very good, and you treasured it because you worked like hell to make that iron armor. Mm -hmm. You know, you had to find the you had to find the nuggets, and you had to build the mine, and had to to refine the the metal and all the other stuff you had to do. Right. And then, like I said, you know, you've got the other side too. It's like I also enjoyed the also enjoyed the uh, the the feed the beast mods with you know the the nuke plants and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's like you know it's it's and the whole automation with the I didn't get into the whole uh, I never got into the ones with the computer craft or whatever it was the. Uh, can't even remember the name of the advanced electronics thing where it's like 
you know, you, you put your items into it and it converted it into a number and stored it on a memory chip in the computer and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, I never got into that. That was the, the, the it got into the whole Star Trek replicator type stuff. Yeah. Um, that's the way I looked on that. I far rather, I, I did, <coughs> had no problem with, you know, the, the pipes and all. I remember the, the, the systems where people had, had pipes that would support every, uh, would sort everything out into massive rooms of, yes, of barrels ones. and chests and stuff. Mm-hmm. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> I said the other was was not for me. For the people that enjoyed it, it was great, and you can certainly certainly didn't couldn't say that you didn't you know put the effort into it because it required a massive amount of uh, resources to make those computer things and the the memory cores and all. Yeah, but once you got it set up, you pretty much Brian propelled it, set it, and forget it. Yeah. Let's see if it actually resets the weather, too. I think it may do that, too. There goes the night. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Nope, didn't reset the weather. I say, no, it's still raining on my screen. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. But I guess if you want to reset the weather, it would be we would actually have to sleep. Yeah, we'd probably both have to sleep. Yep, actually have to sleep. Yep. Let me check. F three. Yep. Day five. Yep. All right. Good. Good. Yep. And we were probably again. I mean, we probably had a good number of days into it. I was trying to mm-hmm. think. I was like, well, how many? How many days have we actually had the server booted up? Probably ten. Maybe maybe around ten nights or something. Yeah. I'm We've sure probably gone through quite a few. X, yeah, X number of nights. Each of those nights that I had the server booted up, you know. Mm-hmm. So we're probably, you know, we're probably missing about 40 nights worth of difficulty. Yeah, I'm sure we were up, I was just about to say that. I'm sure we were up in the, the, the 40, 50 range. Yeah. Which, again, you know, we'll start fresh now, fresh number of nights. We're a couple of nights in now, and yeah, our and days. And, and, you know, in the life of Our death uh, counter is up, too. Yeah, in the life of a Minecraft server, that's trivial. Yeah. I think, yeah. You know, whenever I took the original, the original Brocraft with the hive and everything down, we were in the like six, seven thousand range or something. I can't remember yeah. how many. Yeah, you know, just insane number of uh, days that it was. Right. Well, I meant the difficulty. That's all. Again, where you'll have the yeah. skeletons in full like gold armor and yeah. Speaking of zombies. which, we got a skeleton right over yonder. Skeleton and looks like a zombie, maybe. Let me see. Yeah, it's a zombie over. underneath the tree. Yep. Yep, and the skeleton wandered over that way. Is that easy to find one? Yeah, it's cheap. 